start talking. Okay. Well, I, this this is just kind of a unique situation that I think there's not too many guys that can say this. Mm -hmm. That uh, when I was about eight or ten years old, the old Ironsides was towed into Bellingham. It was in oh. Bellingham, and I went aboard. And it, the old Ironsides is still a United States Navy right, vessel, still in, still in commission. So it's the oldest commissioned ship in the United States Navy right now, and and the oldest uh, battleship, I should right. say. And I served on the crew on the last battleship, so I've been aboard the oldest and the latest battleships in the United States Navy. So tell me about the uh, the last battleship. Tell me about the what USS you did. Wisconsin. Right. Uh, it's an Iowa-class battleship. They had six six battleships in the Iowa class that were scheduled to be built, and um, the Iowa was the uh, BB-61, 62 was the New Jersey, the 63 was the Missouri, and the 64 was the Wisconsin. The war was over soon enough so that the uh, Kentucky never got built. It was 65, it, and it was uh, I saw it in a skeleton form in the in the uh, navy yard in Norfolk when I left. It was there, and uh, an interesting thing that happened: the, the Wisconsin was out in the in the fog bank uh, out of out on the coast there, and it ran into a destroyer and, and nearly cut the destroyer in two, and and uh, and the Wisconsin lost. A big hunk of the bow. Wow! And in order to repair it, they took what was the skeleton off of the Kentucky and put it to take the place on the Wisconsin to build it back the way it was, and it's a half foot longer now. So it was the biggest battleship, <laughs> so <laughs> bigger did, than the Iowa class. So what did you do on the battleship? Well, I was in the A division, and the auxiliaries worked on the uh, after steering, the rudder rooms, and the steam heat, and the, and the uh, auxiliary engines and stuff, and I was a boat engineer on the small whale boats that went out and picked up guys that were in the drink, and and uh, I was the engineer on the Admiral's barge. We took on a two-star when we when we went through Panama, and uh, so I, I and I was on the captain. I was the engineer on the captain's gig, so I I, I was a pretty good boat engineer. They they liked me. I, <laughs> You were only there one sail, you only served one year though. Yeah, I was just three hundred and sixty five days in the Navy. Yeah. Because that's when the war got over, you got yeah. to the end of whatever yeah. yeah. The war I was in boot camp when the war was over and they started reducing points. Some of the guys who were in my company had kids and they got out right away and they had more points than, than the rest of us and so I had to serve a little while. But uh, it was a good cruise. It was great. So you never actually went into war battle with mm -hmm. her? No, no, she was over when I was in San Diego. I guess you've seen this picture of your dad in San Diego. Have you seen yeah. that picture? Oh, yeah. 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 He was at North Island. Right. Yep. And in, in the other, uh, now you were, uh, didn't you work on a salmon fishing boat for a while? Yeah, I personated for four years. Yeah. Four years. Now, mm -hmm. tell me, would you go out and be gone for months at a time, or how would that work? The only time I was gone for a month was uh, we went 30 days up into, camp, up into Alaska, went fishing up there, and that's the only time. Uh, that I was gone from home that long. You know, that, no so what was the general thing? You'd go for a few days or a Yeah, week? you'd fish the week, could be home on the weekend as a rule. Mm -hmm. yep. Sometimes they'd only get to fish two days. Right. Or sometimes yeah. they could have well, four days. Other, tell me what other jobs you've had. Tell me about your entire jobs over your life. Oh, what else? Else? <laughs> oh I'm doing good. Yeah, go ahead and tell me about how much... Uh, uh, well, I was born at a very early age. <laughs> When we uh, got out, of, when I got out of the service, Vernley and I got married not too long after that. And uh, my first job was a, uh, I was a herdsman on a dairy farm. Uh, what, what in those days was a pretty good sized farm that we milked 45 cows, and uh, that's hardly enough to yeah, do anything, do anything now. So <laughs> yeah, it was pretty interesting then. But after that, I had a little bakery route for what a couple of years. Delivered house to house bakery service, and after that, uh, uh, I worked for Safeway. Got a job at Safeway, and uh, worked for them Whoa. 14 years. Wow! And uh, when I decided I wasn't going to be CEO of the Safe Safeway and Company, we decided to build our own store, and uh, we did that 
Well, I remember you had a little store when we were here in 64, I believe. Yeah, we, yeah. Had, yeah. we leased Least. the store at Laurel okay. Least, uh, for three years. and uh, That's when you started fishing. Uh, yeah. Some we de we decided that uh, in order to, uh, that I, I could probably run a supermarket, but a mom and pop store was mm -hmm. a little bit different before we built and put our money into and a being store. Being CEO of, of the mom and pop store was a little bit different <laughs> from <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So uh, anyway, we did we did okay in the, in the uh, lease thing for three years, so we went ahead and after a couple of years there, we started building the store. So where was it at? Down at Cane Lake, uh, down on the on the Skagit Watkin border. And uh, at Glenhaven. At Glenhaven. Yeah. How long were you there? Five and a half years. Six. Six but years. After three years, you. Yeah, we decided that after we lost we lost Craig. He had to go to Pullman to college, so we lost our good help there. So <laughs> we decided, and I I had. Uh, uh, purchased a business down in an insurance business down in Skagit County, and we ran the store for three and a half years while we had both things going, and decided that there's no point in having two businesses, and so right. we sold the store. And I, I kept the uh, insurance business for 20 years and retired from that. And, and retirement is probably the best thing since disposable diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Were you what, 62 and a half? Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's been almost uh, almost 20 years ago now. You've just been coming on to 20 years. Off for two, I know you'll travel with the travel trailer, but you never got down our way with the trailer no. before, did you? We, as far as we got east with it was at Branson. Oh, we went to Branson. We huh? went to Branson, yeah. That's the farthest east we were ever were on the, with the trailer. Yeah. So you never get to Pittsburgh with the trailer, or was that? No, no, no. We went to Alaska. Mm -hmm. we, went to, we went to Mexico and we went to Baja, Mexico. we went oh, uh, to Alaska. We, we did about 8,000 miles on a trip with five other rigs into Alaska. That was wow. a great trip, too, yeah. During the summer, I would assume. Yeah, it took, what, we six left. weeks? Mm -hmm. Or seven. We were going to be gone maybe two yeah. months, but we didn't. So it was 